I'll have another one. You got it. Hey. Yeah, you. Can I buy you a drink? I mean, no offense, but you look like you could use one. Bitch of a day, huh? Honey, you have no idea. <laughs> yeah, well, I really hate to drink alone. So what do you say, huh? Can I buy you a drink? Why the hell not? Hey, bartender, what's the girl got to do to get some service around here? My friend needs a drink. Keep your shirt on. Or don't. <laughs> Either way, it's a hell of a view. <laughs> Good to see you, Kate. Ah, uh, it's Connie now. Ah, so I hear. Mm. Are you getting back in touch with your Bensonhurst roots? Oh, well, you know, I'm getting in touch with a lot of things lately. Mm. So what do you say, Coleman? You want to take a spin for old time's sake? Hmm? Sounds very tempting, sweetheart, in other circumstances. Mm, almost irresistible. What's wrong with the circumstances yeah, right now? Because I don't need your kind of trouble. Trouble? What are you talking about? The last place I want to be is in the middle of Sonny and his girlfriend. See, you are behind the times, my friend. Me and Sonny, we are... We're gone. We're history. That's right. That's right. You're Mrs. Johnny's a car now. Yeah. In name only, at least for tonight. My husband's in the Huskow, and they don't allow conjugal visits at the PCPD, so for tonight, you can do with me as you please. So what's Johnny in for now? Triple murder. Yeah? Don't let that stop you. Maybe next time. Yeah. Still a champagne girl? Ah, no, vodka. Mm -hmm. Extra cold. And, uh, one for my friend here. What, what was your name again? <laughs> A.J. Quarterman. Coleman. Yeah, so the headline in the paper. The prodigal quarterbane returns. The son who was lost was found, was dead, and now he lives again. See, you two know each other. AJ and I go way back. In fact, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have this bar. Do tell. Well, I used to have this sweet little club called <laughs> the Oasis. Strip club. Great location, great clientele, beautiful women. Until AJ... Took himself out for a little spin and uh, plowed right into the front of it. So his girl at the time wanted to wanted to work off the damages, and I agreed, having no idea that was gonna cross the line with Sonny and Jason. So the Oasis became a an indirect casualty of their displeasure, and I wound up here. That was back in the good old days when this place was called Jake's. Well, you seem happy here, Coleman. So you two must be friends, huh? <laughs> Not exactly. I sense some lingering tension between you two. Some unresolved business, perhaps? AJ gave me the money to open this bar. Oh, that's very generous of you. Yes, that's one word for it. Really? Well, if you didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart, then why'd you do it? AJ burned down the oasis, right? Oh. And then he gave me the money to keep my mouth shut. You got exactly what you deserve for blackmailing my wife and turning her into a stripper. Mm. Not my finest hour, man. I regret doing that to Courtney, but tell you the truth, I was pretty fond of Sonny's sister. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Were you married to Sonny's sister? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that makes you two family then, huh? Well, if you consider someone who stole your son family, then, um, yeah, I'd say Sonny and I are family. So Sonny stole your son? You mean Michael? Yeah, Michael's my boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. Michael's one fine physical specimen. See where he gets it from. Hey, lover, why don't you get Mikey's daddy a drink here? What are you going off the wagon again, Edge? What, what, what are you, uh, what are you drinking? Is it? It's vodka, right? Shut up. <laughs> what the hell's that about? You been drunk or something? <sighs> I haven't had a drink in years. Oh. Well, like you said, bitch of a day, huh? So, uh, <clears throat> Won't you tell me what happened? That's it's a long story. Well, give me the condensed version. 
Michael and I were supposed to uh, work together. I had big plans for us to, uh, to run EOQ, my family's company. Just as that was about to happen, the deal just, it, it just fell apart. Well, that sucks. But you know, like I always say, there's always another opportunity around the corner. You see, I never really got to have a relationship with him growing up. Mm -hmm. And now that this thing with the LQ is not going to happen, I, I don't think I'm going to ever get to be a father to him. Yeah, I know what that's like. I have a son. I don't think I'll ever get to know him either. Well, you know, you just said there's always another opportunity. Shall we drink to that? Give me another one. What the hell's the matter with you? You said you're having a bad day. I am. Well, drink up. You said you lost your son, so did I. This is a perfectly good reason to fall off the wagon. Perfect timing. Come on. Salud. Wow. My lucky day. Two of my least favorite people bonding. I didn't know it was gank night at the floating rib. Why else would you be here? And AJ Quartermain having a drink. So much for sobriety, huh? Yeah, you really gotta watch her because she mm. might slip you a Mickey. <laughs> Next thing you know, you wind up in an alley covered in alcohol. Oh, honey, I don't take it personally. If she didn't do those things, she could never get a man. Huh? <laughs> Come on, down the hatch. Yeah, drink up. But don't get behind the wheel and drive and leave someone else with brain damage, like you did Jason. You know, I don't know what the hell you're complaining about. You seem to like the way Jason turned out. Oh, I thought Jason was perfect. But that doesn't change the fact that you slammed his head into a tree. You know, just because people have the strength to survive your damage doesn't absolve you from it. Carly, preacher, no one asked you to join us, so why don't you go find another murderer or baby snatcher to sleep with, please? We'd like to drink in peace. Oh, you should drink in peace. I mean, who cares that your son is lying brain dead in the hospital? You need to party, right? Remember Trey? The baby you left for dead, and years later, when you find out he survived, you gave him crap for living. You remember that? Huh? Do you remember that? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. And now all you have to do is sign a few pieces of paper, and he's out of your hair for good. Have another drink. Yes, have another drink for the father and the mother of the year, right? Trey's friends are holding vigil at the hospital, and you're here hanging out with this loser. Just proves to me what everyone says about you is true. You don't care about anybody, anything, not even your own kid. You don't know what the hell I care about, Carly, so why don't you shut your mouth and leave me the hell alone? With pleasure. How's it going? Long time no see? Yeah. Too long since you graced this place, toots. What are you drinking? Mm. I don't really sold. No. I want something stronger. Go ahead and have that one. I'm not going to be needing it. You are two of the most selfish, despicable people I know. And you deserve each other. I hate her. Me too. Looks like we got something in common, BJ. It's AJ. Oh, sorry. So, uh, you're Sonny's girlfriend. <sighs> yeah, I was. Past tense. When Sonny and I were together, I, I wasn't really myself. How so? Forget it. Actually, I was just beginning to think that maybe Sonny wasn't so bad. <laughs> I'll give you that mistaken impression. Because I got arrested and he bailed me out. I'm sure you already know that Sonny's, uh, generosity mm. usually comes with a price. Yeah, no kidding. Because you see, he was just softening me up so that I would pull the plug on my own kid. You know, I, I heard what Carly said about your son. I'm, I'm very sorry. Hey, come here. I have a new rule. I think you like rules. Well, I like rules when I make them there. All right, so this new rule is no more sad talk. All right, I'm done with that. All right, so you and I, we're gonna forget about all our troubles just for tonight. You know, Connie, I kinda like that idea.
Yeah.